this is the Cotman Thorpe crossing. It's due to be replaced with a stepped footbridge, 48 steps each side. They claim that the existing foot crossing isn't accessible to disabled people. And yeah, it has its difficulties a bit, a bit, but not really. I mean, that vehicle of track is doable. I've just done that path there. It's not really that bloody difficult, you know? And um, it wouldn't take much to make it more accessible either, if they wanted to. Um, I think it's a disgrace that they're talking about getting rid of it and replacing it with new stepped infrastructure. You know, building in inaccessibility for generations to come. And, you know, the, the argument that historically our infrastructure is so old and we're building new, new inaccessible infrastructure. It's just, it's just ridiculous. So I shall cross the crossing safely, of course, and go down the other side in my wheelchair. Okay, it's on green. Genuinely wasn't a problem. I'm not going to lie, that is quite difficult in a wheelchair and many people couldn't do it. Getting back up is going to be interesting, although I will manage it. Um, but it's one little bit, and then look at it. It's level, eh? And before this railway line was here, it was level. There was a cart track between Bishop Thorpe and Cotman Thorpe. And it could very easily be made level again. But not if they put in a stepped footbridge with 96 steps on it, 48 each side. I'm at the Bishopthorpe end in my wheelchair. So, we're on a red light, but when it turns green, Presumably after that train's gone past. <laughs> 